What event wiped out 96% of all marine life and 70% of terrestrial life on Earth? Discover the terrifying tale of the Permian-Triassic extinction, a mass extinction so devastating that it reshaped the planet's future. Ever wondered how life on Earth nearly ended? We're diving deep into the Permian-Triassic extinction, uncovering its devastating impacts and how it shaped the world we know today. Get ready to be amazed by the resilience of life and the power of nature. If you're enjoying the vibe, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. It really helps us out. In the lush, teeming landscapes of the late Permian period, life flourished in an array of diverse ecosystems. Reptiles basked on arid floodplains, amphibians slithered through swampy lowlands, and marine creatures populated vast, warm seas. But in an unfathomably short geological moment, this vibrant world collapsed into silence. The Permian-Triassic extinction event, often dubbed the Great Dying, stands as the most devastating mass extinction in Earth's history, eradicating approximately 90% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species. To fully grasp the scale of this cataclysm, one must situate it within Earth's grand evolutionary narrative. Occurring around 252 million years ago, this extinction event punctuated the end of the Paleozoic era, a time marked by remarkable biological diversification. It preceded the Mesozoic era, which would eventually give rise to dinosaurs and mammals. Great dying did not merely disrupt life. It reset the evolutionary clock, leaving a legacy that still shapes biodiversity today. This video argues that the Permian-Triassic extinction event, triggered primarily by massive volcanic activity in the Siberian Traps, fundamentally transformed Earth's biosphere through climate upheaval, ocean acidification, and ecological collapse. By examining the thriving world before the fall, the mechanisms of extinction, the aftermath, and the lessons it imparts for the modern world, we will illuminate how this ancient catastrophe serves as a harrowing but instructive chapter in Earth's history. To understand the scale of the Great Dying, one must first examine its likely catalyst, the Siberian Traps, an immense region of volcanic rock in what is now Russia. Around 252 million years ago, this area erupted with unimaginable force, releasing a deluge of basaltic lava that covered over 7 million square kilometers. The eruptions likely persisted for nearly a million years, discharging massive amounts of carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and methane into the atmosphere. These gases had catastrophic effects on the global climate, setting off a chain reaction of environmental devastation. The greenhouse gases emitted during the eruptions led to severe global warming, with some estimates suggesting a rise in surface temperatures by as much as 8 to 10 degrees Celsius. This temperature spike destabilized climatic systems, resulting in extreme weather patterns, the melting of polar ice, and a breakdown in oceanic circulation. Ocean anoxia, a depletion of oxygen, followed leading to the suffocation of marine life. Simultaneously, acid rain produced by SO2 combined with atmospheric moisture devastated terrestrial vegetation and soil systems, further collapsing food chains. Ocean acidification compounded the crisis. The absorption of CO2 into seawater altered the ocean's chemistry, reducing its pH and severely affecting calcifying organisms like brachiopods and corals. These foundational species formed the basis of marine food webs. Their demise precipitated a domino effect through the ecosystem. The combined stresses of warming, acidification, and anoxia created a planetary emergency that life, as it existed in the Permian, could not withstand. Before disaster struck, the Permian period was a golden age of evolutionary innovation. It saw the amalgamation of Earth's land masses into the supercontinent Pangaea, which created vast inland environments and a range of new ecological niches. 
This geological transformation enabled the diversification of terrestrial fauna, including the emergence of key synapsids and early reptiles. Among the most iconic inhabitants of the Permian were Dimetrodon and Lystrosaurus. Dimetrodon, often mistaken for a dinosaur, was a synapsid predating true dinosaurs by millions of years. Its distinctive sail, formed by elongated vertebrae, may have served thermoregulatory or display functions. As a top predator, Dimetrodon occupied a crucial ecological role. Lystrosaurus, a sturdy herbivore, was uniquely adapted to arid climates and is notable for surviving the extinction event, becoming one of the few success stories of the early Triassic. The oceans of the Permian were equally dynamic. Coral reefs, built by now-extinct rugose and tabulate corals, teemed with life. Eminoids, trilobites, and brachiopods populated marine ecosystems, while vast schools of fish navigated the open waters. These ecosystems, complex and interdependent, reflect a level of biodiversity and ecological sophistication that makes their sudden demise all the more poignant. The extinction event left Earth a scarred and barren place. Over 90% of marine species and a significant portion of terrestrial life were wiped out. The loss of biodiversity was so profound that ecosystems collapsed entirely, leaving only a few generalist and opportunistic species to repopulate the Earth. The survivors faced a harsh world. With ecosystems destroyed, food sources diminished, and climates in flux, life had to adapt rapidly or perish. Lystrosaurus, for instance, thrived in the desolate post-extinction world due to its generalist diet and burrowing habits, which may have provided refuge from extreme conditions. Over millions of years, evolutionary pressures gave rise to new life forms, most notably the archosaurs, the group that would eventually include crocodiles, pterosaurs, and dinosaurs. The extinction reset evolutionary dynamics, allowing for the rise of new dominant groups and, much later, mammals. This slow recovery, known as the Triassic Ecological Rebound, took nearly 10 million years. During this time, Earth's biosphere gradually regained complexity. Though the path was arduous, the seeds of future biodiversity were sown in the aftermath of devastation, demonstrating life's extraordinary resilience. The great dying holds unsettling parallels to current environmental trends. Today, human activities are releasing greenhouse gases at an unprecedented rate, leading to rapid climate change, ocean acidification, and biodiversity loss. Deforestation, habitat destruction, and pollution further compound the pressures on Earth's biosphere. Scientists warn that we may be entering a sixth mass extinction, driven not by natural cataclysms, but by anthropogenic forces. Studying the Permian-Triassic extinction offers vital insights into the consequences of disrupting Earth's finely tuned systems. It reveals the fragility of ecosystems and the speed at which collapse can occur when thresholds are breached. The ancient past becomes a mirror, reflecting possible futures if unsustainable practices continue unchecked. Ultimately, the lesson is clear. We are stewards of a planet with a history of resilience, but not invincibility. Preserving biodiversity, reducing emissions, and fostering sustainable development are not merely ethical imperatives, they are existential necessities. As the echoes of the great dying resonate through time, they urge us to act decisively, to learn from the past, and to chart a course toward a more balanced and enduring future. The Permian-Triassic extinction event, or the Great Dying, was a turning point in Earth's history. Triggered by cataclysmic volcanic eruptions and exacerbated by runaway climate change, ocean acidification, and ecological collapse, it wiped out the vast majority of life on Earth. From the ashes of this devastation, new life forms eventually emerged, setting the stage for the age of dinosaurs, and much later, humans. This essay has traced the intricate web of causes that led to the extinction, painted a vivid picture of the thriving Permian world, and examined the slow yet remarkable recovery of life. It has also highlighted the critical importance of learning from this ancient tragedy, 
drawing parallels to modern environmental crises that threaten to replicate the conditions of the past. The Great Dying is not just a story of loss, it is a cautionary tale with urgent relevance. It reminds us that Earth's systems are interconnected, that tipping points can lead to irreversible change, and that survival requires adaptation and foresight. As we face our own environmental crossroads, the echoes of the past implore us to choose a path that ensures the continuity of life, not its end. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.